The Fox River Trolley Museum is located on 365 South LaFox Street in Elgin, Illinois, and is open mostly weekends. The museum admission is free. The Fox River Trolley Museum doesn't just have trolleys on the grounds, but it mostly has trolleys, but other some other railroad equipment such as diesels and cabooses and some other kinds of rolling stock used on some various railroads. The Fox River Trolley Museum also opened in 1961. The museum tracks is the former Aurora, Elgin, and Fox River Electric Railway that ran through the museum grounds before the and the line was closed to passengers in 1935. Also in 1961, the museum was founded by Railway Equipment Leasing and Investment Corporation, then started operating in 1966 and presently continues operations. The majority of the museum collection is focused on railways and electric transit lines of the Chicago area. Today, the museum continues operations on days it open. it's open and preserves trolleys that ran in Chicago. Chicago Transit Authority 45 was built by the St. Louis Car Company in 1959 and is a rapid transit car. Chicago Transit Authority 45 was used on the elevated railroads in the city of Chicago many years ago on the Chicago Transit Authority Railway. Chicago Transit Authority 45 is a transit coach that once hauled passengers around Chicago from station to station. Then in 1998, Chicago Transit Authority was first preserved, 45 was first preserved by Wisconsin Electric Railway Historical Society, which is the East Troy Railway Museum, East Troy Trolley Museum in Muckawanago, Wisconsin in 1998. Then, and then in 2009, it was transferred to the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, and it can sometimes be seen operating on the museum tracks and preserved at the museum today. Warren and Saline River 73 was built by Whitcomb in Chicago, Illinois in 1948 and is the 60,748th diesel locomotive built by that factory and is a Whitcomb 70DE 24 type diesel locomotive. Warren and Saline River 73 was originally used for the Potlatch Forest Incorporated as Potlatch Forest Incorporated 73. Then in 1963, the locomotive was transferred to the Warren and Saline River Railroad as Warren and Saline River 73 and worked for the Warren and Saline 
River Railroad Tilt was sent to the scrapyard, but the, then the locomotive was saved from scrap. Then in 1991, Warren and Saline River 73 was sold to the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is today. Also, sometimes Warren and Saline River 73 can often be seen operating and shunting equipment around in the museum as well. Chicago Transit Authority 40 was built by the St. Louis Car Company in 1959 in St. Louis, Missouri and is a rapid transit car. Chicago Transit Authority 40 was used on the elevated railroads in the city of Chicago many years ago on the Chicago Transit Authority Railway. Chicago Transit Authority 40 also is a transit coach that it once hauled passengers around Chicago from station to station. Also, this car operated on the Chicago Tr Transit Authority line till 1998, then came to be part of the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, and can sometimes be seen operating on the Fox River Trolley Museum line and preserved at the museum today. Illinois Central 9648 was built by the Illinois Central Shops in 1957 and is a steel side door caboose type caboose. Illinois Central 9648 was used in freight service on the Illinois Central Railroad on freight trains during the career of this caboose. Also, Illinois Central 9648 was used on the train used as the train crew's office as and the cupola would be for the crew to see the front of the train as well then later on Illinois Central 9648 was retired and then came in 1993 it was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin Illinois and was restored and can often be seen hauled on the museum tracks whenever trains are operating as well.
so they keep the trees from catching the wires or the poles. That would not be good. That's why problems need to get through. See right behind me is Chicago Aurora and Elgin. Chicago Aurora and Elgin. 20 was built by Niles Car Company, Niles, Ohio, in 1902 and is a wooden interurban car. Chicago Aurora and Elgin 20 was once used on the Chicago Aurora and Elgin Railroad, hauling people from station to station. This car was originally used for the Aurora Elgin in Chicago as Aurora Elgin in Chicago 20. from 1902 to 1922. Then in 1922, the car was then Chicago Aurora and Elgin 20 and op operated on the Chicago Aurora and Elgin tracks. Then in 1962 through 1984, the car was preserved by Railway Equipment Leasing and Investment Corporation. Then in 1984, Chicago Aurora and Elgin 20 was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois and can be sometimes be seen operating on the museum tracks and also Chicago Aurora and Elgin 20 is known to be the oldest operating interurban car in the USA today and is preserved at the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin today. Chicago Transit Authority L202 was built by the Chicago Railway Shops, Chicago City Railway Shops in 1908 and is a, an electric steeple cab locomotive. Chicago Transit Authority L202 was originally built for the Chicago City Railway as Chicago City Railway C50 and worked for for it till 1914. Then this locomotive worked for the Chicago Surface Lines as Chicago Surface Lines L202 till 1947. Then this locomotive was tran then transferred to the Chicago Transit Authority as Chicago Transit Authority L202 and it was numbered L202. till 1959, then renumbered as Chicago Transit Authority S343 from 1959 to 1979. Also, this locomotive was used in Chicago, the Chicago Transit Authority yard a lot while it was used by the Chicago Transit Authority. Also, in 1979, Chicago Transit Authority L202 was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum, but first it was preserved by the Railway Equipment and Leasing Investment Corporation from 1979 to 1984. Then went on to the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, and can sometimes be seen operating when it is operating where it is today. Aurora Elgin and Fox River Electric Company 5 was built by the General Electric Company in 1949 and is a GE 45-ton center cab type diesel locomotive. Aurora Elgin and Fox River Electric Company 5 was last the last locomotive to work on the Aurora and Elgin Aurora Elgin and Fox River com tracks. It was bought in 1945 to 
replaced two electric locos and hauled coal cars from the Illinois Central Railroad Junction in Coleman to the State Hospital in Elgin, Illinois until 1972. Then the locomotive was retired and then in 2001, 2001 Aurora, Elgin, and Fox River Electric Company 5 was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois where it is today and can sometimes be seen operating and even moving equipment around in the yard or sometimes hauling the caboose. Chicago Transit Authority 4451 was built by the Cincinnati Car Company in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1924 and is a steel rapid transit car. Chicago Transit Authority 4451 was used on the elevated railroads in the city of Chicago many years ago on the Chicago Transit Authority Railway. Chicago Transit Authority 4451 was also is a transit coach that once hauled passengers around Chicago from station to station. Also, this rapid transit car was originally used for the Chicago Rapid Transit as Chicago Rapid Transit 4451 till 1947. Then was used on to work on for the Chicago Transit Authority as Chicago Transit Authority for 4451. Then in 1975, Chicago Transit Authority 4451 was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum, but before going there, it was preserved by the Railway Equipment Leasing and Investment Corporation till 1984. Then in 1984, Chicago Transit Authority 4451 was moved to the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it can be seen sometimes operating today. Okay, can I show you the switch stands that go uphill, but these are not on the museum grounds. But can I carry the camera and show you? Okay, going up the hill, as I'm behind the camera, I'm going to show you all these switch stands of the memorabilia. And like I said, this is the memorabilia. These are not on the museum grounds of the Fox River Trolley Museum. Here's a variety of switch stands just as a decoration up this hill. So be sure to take a look at them. Notice all these historic switches. They're kind of like old school. <laughs> How many switch stands are there? I you ought to be counting if you would so. Please leave a comment below and tell me how many you counted. Because that would be really great. A lot of switch stands all the way following the switch stands. It's these people use for decorations. And here we've reached... Okay, here's the speeder woodlift station. And also, this speeder is used as decorations. And it stands by the um, trolley line, the uh, Fox River Trolley Museum's um, trackway. And it's 7 and 861. It says right there. And you can see here. Side.
what you see right behind me is Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee 715. Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee 715 was built by Cincinnati Car Company in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1926 and is an interurban car. This car was once used on the Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee Railroad and hauled people from station to station between Chicago, Illinois and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Then, in 1963, when the line was abandoned, the car was then acquired by the Mid-Continent Railway Museum in North Freedom, Wisconsin. Then, in 1967, it was later preserved by the Wisconsin Electric Railway Historical Society, which is the East Troy Trolley Museum in Muckwanago, Wisconsin, and in East Troy, Wisconsin. And during the time it operated on the trolley line there, it was painted orange. Then in 1989, the car was then acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, and was soon repainted green. In 2019, it was repainted and looking good as new. Today, it is preserved here at the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, and can sometimes be seen operating on the museum tracks and giving visitors a ride on board as well. What you see right behind me is Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin 458. Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin 458 was built by the St. Louis Car Company in St. Louis, Missouri in St. Louis, Missouri in 1945 and is a curbside interurban car. This car was once used on the Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin Railroad, hauling people from station to station along the system for many years. Then, in 1957, the Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin ceased operations, and in 1962, the car was preserved by Trolleyville, USA, in Olmsted, Ohio. Then, in 2009, it was acquired by the Lakeshore Electric Railway in Erie, Pennsylvania. Then in 2009, it was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is preserved today. What you see right behind me is Wilson Car Lines 2013.
Wilson Car Lines 2013 was built in 1957 and is a refrigerator car. This car was leased to Wilson Car Lines by Chase Manhattan Bank. Also, this car was used for Wilson Car Line and even used on freight trains many years ago and would be used to carry refrigerated food such as produce, vegetables, and even dairy products as well and other stuff this car may have hauled many years ago. Then, this car was retired and was then acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is preserved today. What you see right behind me is Chicago Transit Authority 43. Chicago Transit Authority 45 was built by the St. Louis Car Company in St. Louis, Missouri in 1959 and is a rapid transit car. This car was used on the elevated railroads in the city of Chicago many years ago on the Chicago Transit Authority Railway. This car once hauled passengers around Chicago from station to station. Then, in 1998, the car was first preserved by the Wisconsin Electric Railway Historical Society, which is the East Troy Trolley Museum in East Troy, Wisconsin. It was soon repainted with a white and green scheme. Then, in 2009, it was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, and it can sometimes be seen operating on the museum tracks and is preserved at the museum today. What you see right behind me is Chicago Transit Authority MS-65. Chicago Transit Authority MS-65 was built by General Electric in Schenectady, New York in 1942 and is a 25-ton switcher diesel locomotive. It was used to move transit cars around in the Chicago Transit Authority yard in Chicago, Illinois for many years. It was later retired and was stored in the Skokie Yard in Chicago. Then, in 2020, it was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, and also it is sometimes seen moving equipment around as well. What you see right behind me is Aurora Elgin and Fox River 7. Aurora Elgin and Fox River Electric 7 was built by Standard Steel Car Company in 1927 and is a flat car. It was originally built for the Chicago, North Shore, and Milwaukee and originally numbered 1050 and was originally numbered 1054 and was used to carry a semi-trailer, which it was used as a piggyback flat car. 
It was later sold to the Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin Railroad and likely kept this number and was used to carry a crane for maintenance of way. Then later on, the line was abandoned in 1963, and it was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is seen today. What you see right behind me, Swift Refrigerator Lines 25010. Swift Refrigerator Line 25010 was built by General American Car Company in 1954 and is a refrigerator car. This car was built in an order of about 50 cars, and they differed from their predecessors because they were chilled by a diesel generator driven refrigeration system that would prevent ice from melting and reloading the cars with blocks of ice before every run. Also, this car was used for the Swift refrigerator line and even used on freight trains many years ago and would be used to carry meat products many years ago. Then this car was retired, and then it was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is preserved today. What you see right behind me, Swift Refrigerator Lines 25032. Swift Refrigerator Line 25032 was built by General American Car Company in 1954 and is a refrigerator car. This car was built in an order of about 50 cars, and they differed from their predecessors because they were chilled by a diesel generator-driven refrigeration system that would prevent ice from melting and reloading the cars with blocks of ice before every run. Also, this car was used for Swift Refrigerator Line and even used on freight trains many years ago and would be used to carry meat products many years ago. Then this car was retired and was then acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is preserved today. What you see right behind me is Chicago Transit Authority 5001. Chicago Rapid Transit 5001 was built by Pullman Standard in 1947 and is a three-part articulated rapid transit car. This car was originally used for the Chicago Rapid Transit and this is the original number. Then, in 1948, it was used by the Chicago Transit Authority and retained the number. Then, in 1963, it was renumbered 51, and also, it hauled passengers around Chicago from station to station when it spent its life being used on the elevated railroads in the city of Chicago many years ago. In 1986, the car was retired and was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is preserved today, and also, it is sometimes seen operating on the museum's tracks as well. Chicago Transit Authority 43 was built by the St. Louis Car Company in St. Louis, Missouri in 1959 and is a rapid transit car. This car was used on the elevated railroads in the city of Chicago many years ago on the Chicago Transit Authority Railway. This car once hauled passengers around Chicago from station to station. Then, in 1998, the car was retired and was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is today, and sometimes it is seen operating on the museum's tracks as well.
what you see right behind me is Chicago Transit Authority S314. Chicago Transit Authority S314 was built by the Chicago City Railway Shops in Chicago, Illinois in 1907 and is a crane flat car. It was originally built for the Chicago City Railways and its original number is unknown. In 1909, it was sold to the Calumet and South Chicago Railway, and it was renumbered 41. Then, in 1913, it was then used by the Chicago Surface Lines, where it was renumbered W301. In 1953, it was rebuilt into a flat car by the Chicago Transit Authority and was renumbered S314. It was later added with a crane. Then in 1997, it was acquired by the Fox River Trolley Museum in Elgin, Illinois, where it is preserved today. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning about trains with me today in Matthew Lap Train Guy segment show. Also, I hope to see you all again in the next segment. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, the subscribe button is just down below the video screen. And if you didn't give the Facebook page a like yet, here's where you'll want to go. And if you didn't give the Instagram page a follow yet, here's where you'll want to go as well. Also, be sure to get your merch at teesprings.com. The link is in the description box below, along with the Facebook and Instagram pages. And remember to subscribe to The Train Guy. So this is Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Sign now. Until next time, all aboard.